Today I'll be teaching you guys on how to do animations. Also I'll be teaching on how to have another car follow your player just like this. What's up you guys, it's GTA today, I'm back with another tutorial today, but before I get to today's video, uh, this is a message for my current subscribers as of right now, this video is going to be for the PC players, so if you go on, like, if you guys are like, on Xbox One or PS4, this video really won't apply to you, but if you guys still, still want to stick around, then please go ahead, but just letting you guys know that this video is for PC players. But I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make modding machinimas and how to put modding inside of your machinimas, like how to get top notch like animations and etc, etc, etc. Um, these two mods right here I'm using, and I'm using the Redux mod, so it's a graphics mod, and I'm using the um, BMW widebody um, um, car from our uh, from our mods. I highly recommend his car mods; they're they're top of the line. I really really like them, and they're super even. They're like super easy to install. Also, they're OIV mods. So, but for lesson one, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to use Menu. I'm actually going to be. But first, I'm actually going to be telling you guys what mods you should use. I highly recommend getting Menyo. That's F8. Um, I highly recommend this mod. It's a very good mod. Magic Spinner mod that also comes with Menyo. So there you go. You just press F9 for that. F10 is Scene Director, which I have. Oh, I accidentally pulled out my phone, which I highly recommend. And I have the Scan Changer mod as well. That's F11. Well, I changed to F11 for me. So oh, the mod creator actually on the mod on the GTA 5 mods website. He actually took down the mod. Well, the mod's still up, but I don't know what happened. I guess some he messed up the files, but he uploaded to see whoever could fix it. But I kept my old copy of it. So if you guys want me to share my skin changer mod with you, just please let me know, and I'll put up a Google Drive link to where you guys can go ahead and download that. But anyways, actually, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna press F9 to go into Menu, and let's see if I want to spawn in a pedestrian. All I have to do is go spawn entity into the world and spawn ped. And, and be good at it. whatever it is. It could be anyone, but I'm gonna just spawn like a random person. So, for example, I could be like, I could drop that guy off right there. But let's get right into it. Say, for example, we want to have him do an animation. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on him, right? And then usually I like to freeze him in place so he doesn't move anywhere. I usually like to make him invincible too, just in case I accidentally hit him. So, I'm gonna go to go all the way down, go to pet options, and go to where is it at? Animations. And you could do whatever animation you want. And, I've, and also, there's a select list right here of favorite animations that I have that I usually use for machinimas. But also, if you go, go all the way down right here to go to all animations and click on search, you could search in any animation. For example, like, um, like combat or something like that. And you would go through the whole list of animations. And it's really easy. And that's how you do an animation. But say, for example, I want to have these two characters fight. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on I'm gonna click on him, make sure he's in the database, make sure your characters are in the database, and I'm gonna make sure Franklin's in the database as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna back out of this, press F9, then go to F10, go to scene director, make sure I add my actor to slot one, then I'm gonna aim at him, go next to click on possess, then I'm gonna go to actor two and add him into the database. So I'm gonna get seamlessly switch between actor one and actor two. But say for example I want to have them fight together, so the cool thing about this mod creator, he added the thing, this thing called synchronized animations. So there's a whole list of synchronized animations you could do with another character. Say, for example, I want to have them fight. So where is it? At? Let me see where it's at. Uh, is it advanced? No, oh, advanced melee. It's right. Where is it at? Drunken fist fight. This is usually my favorite one. So all I gotta do is click right here, and they're already in sync. It's very easy to do this. And there you can see they're still doing the fight. And you can see right here to the right as well. It'll say the actors two, actors two. And then you could even use more actors if you want. You could use like Pimp Demands Money. And it's very, very easy to do this. Let's see. 
but if I want to stop the preview, but actually, if I want to have, if I want to record the scene where they're fighting, I'm going to go to advanced melee, go to go to junk and fist fight. I'm going to click on A to add to the add a shortcut. Then that shortcut will then be added. Click C to stop. Then what you could do, if you go to your animation tab, you'll see synchronized animation. Then it'll say Alt to number one. So you're just going to go right here. You're going to record scene setup. And then we're going to do is press Alt on your keyboard and press one at the same time. And then now it'll then record it. Also, you're, if you're able to record it, if you want as well, so you just click start recording if you want. So, they usually I would do that. That's all you have to do. is very very simple. And now once the recording is done, all you have to press is press on your keyboard is Alt L E. That's how I do it. Oops, accidentally punched to punch them. You can remove the recording, or then you could go the scenes up and click active. Now the scene, the recorded scene that you just recorded, it'll now be set up, and it'll now go do what you told it to do. Just wait for it, and there you go. Then you can start recording if you'd like. It is very very simple. And now that recording's finished, and then now we could click scene mode setup, and then that scene would not be recorded, and that's all done for that one. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the actor. Yes, if you want to, I just usually do that. But then now you can go on to F9. Let me make sure the weather's super sunny real quick. So, ooh, dang. So yeah, I just, I, I just got this Redux mod, and I highly recommend it. It looks amazing, and I'm on a low end PC as well. But say for example, I want to get like a shot to where like, say for example. I want to have two characters talking, right? That's fairly simple. I can also use that during the scene director. All I have to do, I know I just added, unadded the um, actors, but what I'm just going to add the actors back in. I'm going to go to possess, add actor. Then all I have to do is click record. And then if you look down on the bottom right, it'll say speak, hold J, and then your character's lips will now move. It is very simple. And then that's how you do that. But then also, if you want to have uh, make it look like Franklin's talking back, right? All you have to do is go to um, Actor Two, but make sure you cut, re but make sure you cut your Rockstar edited clip, and then start a new recording, and then start it. Make sure he is recording, and then just hold J, and then now it's Franklin. Now for now, for now Franklin's talking. But I'm not gonna say that recording, so I'm just showing you guys on how to do it. Uh, say for example, I want to have Franklin be able to like hold the gun with like one hand that's very simple so what I'm gonna do is press F8 and go to menu then I'm gonna go to player options and then I'm gonna go to where is that movement styles and then I'm going to change it to go all the way over here you could choose whatever one Jerry can because if you look closely at his hands it looks like he's holding something you can go to golfer uh, clipboard um, which one's a good one prison guard trash uh, trash man it's all rifle, but for this one, I'm going to be using jerry can. And if you want to hold a weapon with one hand, it's very simple. All you have to do is now is just switch to one hand, and then now he'll just carry the weapon with one hand. Pistol, well, of course, he's going to do that. Where's a bat? Bat. <laughs> Rocket launcher, even. <laughs> See, like, that's called with menu. I highly recommend this mod. It's a very good mod. But say for example you want to hold like a weapon from like the handle or you want to hold it differently, that's very easy. Say I'm, let me put this weapon away real quick. All I gotta do is press F9 and then I'm gonna press um while well, I'm using a controller, I'm pressing Y. But when you use your keyboard it should tell you what you press, so it should probably press F. And then I'm gonna go to spawn entity into the world. I'm gonna click on object and click on search. Then I'm gonna go to gun. I'm just gonna type in whatever gun, so I'm just typing gun. No, I'm just gonna type in bullpup. It could be whatever gun you want. I'm just gonna type in bull. Is that how you spell right? No. Oh, there you go. All right, so there's the gun right there. So I'm just gonna go back and click on Manage Entity Databases. Then you're just gonna scroll down right here to bullpup, and then make sure you click on it. Then make sure that yeah, make sure that's in the database. And then we're gonna just go to attach attachment options. Go to attach to something. And make sure you make may I make sure whatever you're trying to attach to is in the database. So make sure Franklin's in the database. So I'm just gonna click on Franklin, and now where Franklin goes, the gun will go with him. But what I'm gonna do is attach it to where's it at? You would have changed it from which bone, like the umbilical roots. Where's it at? 
genitals, right arm, left arm, right shoulder, left shoulder, right foot. Where's a hand? No, I'm gonna make sure it's right. You can either be right hand or left hand, doesn't really matter. But then now we're gonna do is this is your scroll sensitivity. This is how far it'll scroll. Say for example, you turn it down, then it'll scroll slower. But if you turn it up, it'll scroll faster. I'm just gonna turn it down right now since we're not moving that far. So what I'm gonna do right here is actually for, for the pitch, roll in yaws. You're gonna make sure you turn that up to at least 10 because those take a while to do. So I'll just turn it up to about 10. The one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the scroll sensitivity to about 1000. And then, oh, I still gotta change it. So make sure to turn that up to about 10, then change the pitch to probably about, where is it at? Oh, about right about right there is good. So what I'm just gonna turn that back down to about 1000 and press Z, not Z, which one is it? What's Y, X, there you go. So there you go, and now let's see you're holding it with one hand. So if you press nine, I mean, it doesn't look entirely on there, but the camera people, the audience don't really know, but that's how it, make you, it makes it look like, it. even when you hold another weapon, it'll look weird. <laughs> so you have two weapons in your hand now. But that's how you do that, that's very simple. But if you're gonna take it off, I'm just gonna press F9, then click um, Manage the Entity Database, and I'm just gonna press X2. Is that the train? Oh, that's a roller coaster. But I'm just gonna press X to delete that, and I'm done with that, so. Well, so say, for example, I wanna have someone follow me, but in a car. It's very gonna, it's gonna be very easy. It's like, say for example, I'm driving one car, and I wanna have another person follow me in another car. So I'm gonna go, wait, make sure let me get my car first. So, we're gonna get in here. Ooh, that BMW M4 is so nice. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press F9 right here. And then I'm gonna make this guy follow me. Alright, so I'm just gonna right click, not right click, is it right click? I don't know. But I'm gonna make sure he's gonna click on, and then I'm gonna go down to task sequence. I'm gonna click add new, then I'm gonna go all the way down to drive and follow entity if in vehicle. Click on that. And then I'm gonna give him a vehicle. So before I do that, let me spawn in a vehicle for him. So let me see. Say for example, I wanted him to follow me in a GTR. So where's it at? R mod. So now he has a GTR. Make sure you don't set it to his car that he's driving, and make sure you set it to what. Uh, make sure you set it what you want him to follow. For example, I want him to meet, follow me, Franklin. So and I'm Franklin. Make sure I switch it to Franklin. But here, let me switch him back into him real quick. My bad. So let me go to here. Now we should do it. So now let me soul switch back to Franklin. Then he should be able to... There he goes. Now he wants to follow. Alright. So now if I go, he should go. There you go. Oops. There you go. See, they don't always fall all that great. Dang! Oh, See, now it's like, it's not that great. Sometimes they'll go a little too fast and they'll get a little too close. So what you're going to have to do is, you're going to make sure you turn that down. Turn down their distance. And sometimes they'll get stuck and confused where you go. Because they don't know all the, like, they only go by the rules of the road. And they're not that great. Right? They really aren't, so... Let's see, he's he's on my tail a lot. Where are those gunshots? But anyways, that's how you do it. If you want him to follow closer, you get turned down the distance even more. But you're gonna have to go pretty fast, or they, otherwise they'll just ram into you. Anyways, but that will be part one of today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will be dropping part two soon. If you guys would like that, please leave it down in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe and share with your friends if you guys thought this video was useful. And I'll see you guys later.